Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing another one by 616 Games, and this is Community. And if you want to join the community, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual, alright? It's going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be playing as a young man called Marky who's on the run from the police. To evade them, he's decided to move to an isolated trailer park in the middle of nowhere. No one's going to find him there, right? We'll see. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments by the end, alright? This is Community. My name is Marky. I'm 19 years old. I needed to move to a more isolated location. I'm running from the police. I don't really like talking about my motives. Hmm, okay. I need to isolate myself. A calm place with few neighbours. So I moved to a small community. And here we are. Here we are then, we're in control. Home sweet home. I'm going to say hello to my new neighbours. With my axe. <laughs> do I need the axe right next to the toilet? I don't know, maybe I do. But uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, home sweet home. Uh, I just want to you know, get a lay of the land, get used to my own home before I go around anyone else's and meet my neighbours. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is me. Wanted by the FBI, Marky Kennard Gibland. What a name, jeez. Uh, suspected of committing several murders, mainly of women. The killer uses a clown mask to hide his identity. He attacks his victims using an axe. Ooh, and that's me. Wow, I guess that's me with the mask. Or, I don't know, maybe that's the mask. Who knows? <laughs> Marky Kennard Gibland. That is the most offensive name I think I've ever heard. Uh, right, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we can really do anything here, but we can leave. We just open both doors. There we go. Right. Okay. So yeah, home sweet home. Welcome to the trailer park. Huh. Yeah. Can I just get out of here now before, you know, anything else goes wrong? No, no, okay. I, I thought I needed to try. Oh. Okay, I see someone over there. What have we got? There's five other trailers by the looks of it. Let's just start over here, shall we? Looks like there's someone over here, actually. Hello. How you doing? Martha. What do you want, she asks. Uh, hello, I'm the new neighbour. I just wanted to say hi. Knowing that this is a family place, I don't want a mess. Okay, no problem. I, I just want to live in peace. I hope so. Just don't bother me. Okay, no problem. Fair enough. Ah... Uh, I don't think we're going to be the best of friends or anything, but maybe that's a good thing, in a way, you know? The less people that know about me, the better. What on earth happened here? We've got police tape. Have I already gone axe happy here? What happened here? Better not to discuss this subject with anyone now. Alright. Is that... Oh, there's blood on the floor. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so darting across the road here, I, I did see someone, I think, maybe going back into their trailer, so let's see. Right. Hello? Oh, look, hello. <laughs> that was quick. John, uh, hello, you must be the new neighbour. I'll let you know right away that here we don't like mess. Uh, yeah, no problem. I don't like clutter either. Excellent. Now leave me alone. I have things to do. Okay, I, I won't bother you anymore. Short and sweet. Yeah, you know, thinking about it, if I am on the run from the police and I don't want anyone to know my location, why am I introducing myself to the neighbours? That doesn't really seem like a very wise decision, does it? Okay, we've got two more people. Uh, let's let's start with you. The hell is this? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Hello. Mary. Hello. It's been a while since I've seen someone so beautiful around here, she says. Oh, well, wow, okay, thank you. You're also beautiful. Thanks. 
Whenever you want, you can come here at night. We can watch a movie together. Netflix and chill? Alright, she's forward. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a little busy today, but we can schedule this sometime. Huh. Okay. And uh, finally, there's someone over here, right? I guess they went back inside. Oh, I, I can see you. And I can see you looking at me. <laughs> All right. Hi there. Scott, is it? Okay. Hello, friend. I've never seen you around here. Do you need something? Um, I moved here yesterday. Welcome. We're a peaceful community here. You'll like this place. Thanks. See you later. And that's the end of that. Okay. So, have I introduced myself to everyone? Maybe. And there might be a couple of characters that we haven't seen yet. Maybe they don't all live alone. Yeah, they don't like mess, do they? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, do we just go back to our home sweet home now? I'm very curious about that. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. Okay, let's go do that. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's close these doors. Can we lock them? <laughs> no? That's a shame. Right. Lie down here? Okay. Let's go to sleep. Well, the police haven't caught me yet, so that's good. <laughs> I literally blacked out. I was very tired. Physically and mentally, too. Hmm. Around 3 a.m., I heard people talking outside. I decided to get up and see what was happening. Okay. And here we are. Okay. Oh! Are they my neighbors? What's that on the floor? Right, okay. Uh, can I, can I grab my axe? No? <laughs> we'll save that for later, maybe. Okay. Let's see then. Out here? It's very dark. I don't think I've got a flashlight or anything quite like that. Right. They're all here, aren't they? What is that on the floor? Oh. What? Have they got skinned faces? What the fuck are you doing? Wearing red masks or something, maybe. Is that blood? What? Hey, I, I thought you didn't like mess. Wait, what is all this? They're just very calmly walking back to their place. Well, this is fucking weird. This is really fucking weird. Um, right, I'm I'm just gonna go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's chalk this up to a bad dream, maybe. All right, close the door. Go back to sleep. No. Right. Okay. If it's not that, maybe I do need to grab my axe. No. Is there really no light source around here? I don't actually see like a light switch or anything in here either. Although, thankfully, this is on. Also, yeah. <laughs> Just so many dumb decisions. If you're going to put this up, put it somewhere no one can see it. Don't put it by a window with the curtains open so someone can look in and see that it's you. This guy is just asking to get himself caught. Right. Okay. Uh, they've all retreated to their homes, right? Maybe we just need to ask them about what the hell was going on there. I can see inside, but I don't see... Was it Martha? Hmm. Uh, I guess she knows who it is. She's uh, she's probably settling down to go to sleep herself. What I want to know is, where the hell did this blood actually come from? Hmm. the fuck? Is there a little... Whoa. Wow, I I barely noticed that. It's so dark, but there was... I think there was a small child there? <gasps> well... Oh, it was a dream? Oh, it was a dream. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good, because that would be one hell of a horrific first night. What the fuck? It was just a dream. It felt so real. Right. Please, tear this down. 
Okay. Right. It's not time for the axe. <laughs> Are we going to get ourselves some breakfast, maybe? Some cereal? Anything in the fridge? No? Right. Maybe let's check outside. I don't see the bowl out there. It's raining. I'd, I'd better get the umbrella. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay. So... Oh! Hey, look at this! Umbrella tech! <laughs> not bad, 616. Not bad. Yeah. There's nothing here. No candles, no bowl of blood. No shadowy figure standing over there. It looked like a small child. Just like a silhouette of one, though. Oh. The tape has been cut. Right. We're going in. It looks like someone came in here. What happened? We've got a trail of blood. Looks a lot like my place, doesn't it? Oh, there's a note here. Lies? Lies. Okay, I'm not picking this up. I'm not I'm not doing anything with it, apparently. Okay. Lies. Let's check the bedroom. Hmm. Aside from the blood on the floor and, you know, the lies note, it seems quite neat and tidy. That's fallen down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hello. How are you doing? Mary, right. You can't go in there. Too late. What happened here? I can't talk about it. I'm sorry. It's the rules. Rules? Why can't you tell me? I promise you, at the right time, I'll tell you everything. Okay, I better go. The rain's increasing. Be thankful for the rain. We'll have something to eat this year. Right. Did you sacrifice someone to a rain god or something? Hmm. She's uh, obviously in no rush to get home. She quite likes the rain. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe... Maybe I should go and try the other neighbours. Maybe they can tell me something a little bit more. I don't know. Ooh. What the fuck is going on in this place? Where the hell did she go? Did <laughs> she must have gone into a Usain Bolt sprint as soon as she went around that corner. Right, hold on. Let's try someone else. Oh, can we not... We can't go across, unfortunately. There's no jumping, it seems like. There is... Oh! Okay, there is crouching, and <laughs> I leave the umbrella right up above me. Fantastic. Right, let's see. Knock, knock! No? Strange. Okay, I I don't think I'm actually going to have much luck here. Maybe I should just go back inside. As he said, the rain is increasing, right? Weird. Very, very weird. I like the idea of you hiding away in this isolated trailer park, Marky. I love it, but uh, yeah, I think you picked the wrong one. Okay. I need to take a shower. A nice, hot shower. With my axe. No? Okay. <laughs> Right, let's see. Oh, umbrella tech and cloth tech. Look at that. Okay, here we are. Brilliant. Hot water. This is great. I guess I'm not used to it. <laughs> Dare I look down? Okay, thankfully there's no body. Nothing I need to blur out. The soap. Okay, just hold this down. Yeah, hot water isn't enough. Is that it? Whoa! What are you doing in my house? Why the hell did I move here? Right. It seems I can't get out. Can right. Turn that off. There we go. Where's he gone? Was there a candle there before? I can't seem to leave. Oh. Uh, wear clothes. Right. Yeah, I don't want to chase him in the nude. There we are. Right. I think he left me this... As a gift. Oh, shit. This game is actually getting under my skin. I've got to say. 
I need to find out what's going on here. Someone needs to tell the truth. Maybe they know who I am. Maybe they're just trying to sort of psych me out or something. I'm not sure. Have I still got the umbrella with me? Hmm. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> I took it into the shower. <laughs> okay, are we going to try Martha again? I'm going to try Martha again. I'm going to try them all again. We need to find out what's going on here, right? Come on. Is she still sprinting around the forest? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, there's some blood out there, too. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just going to go and check this guy as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be coming to the door anytime soon. I don't see a bowl. I do see a bowl. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh... Everyone is making a donation of, of blood, it seems. Oh, hello. Yeah, and, and what's this? Hi there. What a wonderful day. She sent us rain. The corn will grow well this year. Yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Ah, I think it's about time you knew. You're now part of our community. What do I need to know? In, in 1772, other people lived here. Well, yeah. It was a peaceful and happy community, but they were very religious and very strict with their customs. Her name was Lara. She was a sweet and kind girl, but she didn't really accept her family's strict discipline. She liked to create drinks with healing principles. It was just a tea with medicinal herbs that she found in the forest, but her family and neighbors didn't like it. They considered it heresy against God. And what, she was seen as a witch? At a community meeting, everyone decided that she was practicing acts of witchcraft. And this was completely against the principles of her religion. So they decided that the only way to save the girl's soul was to purify her body with fire. My god, these people were sick. What did they do to the girl? They burned her alive, right in this place. She took hours to die. Her screams of pain echoed throughout the place. This is horrible. How could a mother allow this to be done to her daughter? She had no choice. She also believed that her daughter was a witch, possessed by the devil. And what are you doing here? I mean, rituals? Vessels with blood? I've told you too many things. Go home. Sleep. Tomorrow the day will be beautiful and sunny. Right. Well, at least we're getting, you know, some answers, right? So, well, she was burned right here, was she? You don't do any burnings these days, do you? This looks pretty freshly cut. <laughs> should I be worried? I think I should be worried, really. Right, yeah, okay. Let's, let's just go home. Let's just go home and maybe pack our things away and leave. At this point, I'm actually wondering if I should call the police myself. Right. Sleep? We can sleep, it seems. So sleep it is. The story Scott told me is scary. There's something very strange going on here. <laughs> yeah, there is. I hope tomorrow's a better day. I need to find out what they're hiding from me. Hmm. Well, Scott said it would be sunny. Uh, and I think it is. I need to talk to the neighbors. They need to tell me the truth. Okay, so again, we're, uh, we're gonna go chat to the neighbors. Yeah, seems like a nicer day. Hmm. Right, Martha, why did you run off earlier? Yeah, you seem to be growing well. I don't want to talk now. Just tell me what's going on in this place. We're just getting on with our lives, can't you see? What do I need to see? You will still understand. Ooh. And then she ominously walks into the cornfield. Okay, alright. 
Fuck off, Martha. Let's try somewhere else. <sighs> I'm actually curious if I'm going to see anything else in here. Let's go check. Hmm. Nothing's moved. That note's still there. The bloodstains are still here. There's nothing new for me to find. No. They're not, they're not trying to hide this from me. If this was them, they're not trying to hide it. Oh, I see someone over there. Oh. All right. Hi there. What do you want, boy? I don't have time to talk. I want to know, what are you doing here? Is it some kind of ritual? Ritual? We don't do rituals here. It's none of your business. Well, I saw you at dawn. And that bowl of blood? I don't have time for this right now, boy. Leave me alone. Uh, well, Scott told me the story of the burned girl. Scott talks too much. This happened a long time ago. Better forget it. Please, just tell me the truth. You will know the truth. Soon. What do you mean by this? You're part of this community. The truth always comes with time. Ominous. Right, okay. So we've got these two, I suppose. It looks like she's just going in. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Scott, is it? Can you tell me a little bit more? Good morning, boy. I'm sorry about yesterday. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, good morning. No problem. But I want to know everything about this. You need to understand that you're part of our community now. We have our customs and duties here. I just live here. I know. It takes some getting used to, but if you want to stay here, you'll need to please the girl. She died. She's no longer with us. Yes, but your spirit takes over this land. You will only prosper if it wants you here. It's better to follow our ways, or you'll end up like Larry. Larry? Who's he? He lived here. You must have seen his house. Well, yeah, I think I did see it. What happened to him? He just didn't accept his fate. We'll talk later. Right, so Larry didn't accept his fate. Huh. Okay, uh, last but not least, there's Mary over here, right? Here she comes. Right, Mary. Hi, how you doing? Hello, how's your day? Uh, well, it's okay, I'm just worried. What do you worry about? Who knows? Maybe I can help you. I just want to know what's going on in this place. I know what you're feeling, but don't worry. I'm here for you. Are you doing some kind of ritual? Are you doing some kind of ritual? She asks. <laughs> no. Are you? Uh, hmm. Yeah, Scott told me about the burn girl. Can you tell me more? She became a saint. Her suffering was so great that she took over this entire land. Her curse arose through pain and hatred. Do you make any offerings to her? Yes. But they're not rituals. We don't use that word. We offer blood and fire to her. Only then will our land prosper. And whose blood is it? Human blood? Larry's blood? I'm sorry. I need to go now. I'm so tired. See you later. See you later. You're so tired that you're just going to wander out here. Right, yeah. I don't know if I believe you. Oh. What just happened? Right. Yeah, I should evacuate the area. ASAP. <laughs> this is not a good place to live. It's not a good place to hide, either. Oh? Okay. Don't tell me I've been standing in that same spot for hours. Oh no, thankfully I'm inside. Okay. No bowls of blood outside. Right, well, we're not sleeping though, are we? Right. Is it axe time? I honestly feel like it should be axe time. No. I mean, that's got to be there for a reason, right? Mm, no, I guess I'm going out again. Have I still got the umbrella? Good. Good. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. Something's burning over there. Maybe someone. Is it Larry? Oh god, there is a body there! Whoa! 
Right. I can get a better look if I hold this above me. Uh, I don't know if that's Larry. That actually looks like a woman. Maybe that's Mary or Martha. I. Right. Yeah, we should we should just go. We should leave. Is that gonna is that gonna stop? <laughs> oh. What the fuck is going on? I think I'm going crazy. Yeah. I, I do think I'm going crazy right now, actually. Was that just a, a weird hallucination of vision? A deadly premonition, maybe? Yeah, there's no one there. Maybe there never was. Weird. Something in the rain, maybe. Although I've got an umbrella, so no, that's not the excuse. <laughs> I think I'm still going to try and leave, because that seems like a sensible move right now. Come on. Invisible barrier's gone, yeah? No, it's not. Uh, maybe I can call the police. Get them to come collect me. I think it's uh, a lot better than staying here. Have we got a phone around here? I can't sleep. There's got to be a phone somewhere. <laughs> That? That really shook me, holy shit. I was captured and locked in a cage. These neighbors are completely crazy. Right. I don't know what they want from me. I think they've all been taken over by evil. I need to escape this place. Well, that's what I was trying to do. <sighs> right. Oh yeah. I'm all caged up. Right. Okay. Um, is there a way out of here? Is there a hidden key? Or, I don't know, maybe there's a, something I can reach? Hmm. Oh? Hold on. Someone's coming in. Oh? Oh, hello, it's Mary. Mary's got a cage in her bedroom. I didn't see you as that kind of girl, Mary. Wait, you're just gonna go to sleep? Right. I guess this happens all the time. This isn't her first rodeo, is it? Right, we need to we need to get out of here somehow. Mary. Uh I don't know if I can like strangle you or have you got something in your hand or Are you looking right at me? That's really weird. Oh, hold on. Oh a key! What Oh. Did she want to free me? Thank you! Damned! They kill people to offer this demon! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I know what you mean. Right. So we're just getting out of here, yeah? I'm not gonna get intercepted by any other neighbors. Can I at least go and grab the axe now? I think I need to go and grab the axe now. I don't see anyone in my way. Everyone's probably sound asleep, thinking that, you know, I'm due to be sacrificed tomorrow. I'm locked away in the cage. Oh, shit. I'll, I'll get my axe. They need to learn a lesson. Right. Yes, it's about damn time. <laughs> Usually I'm not one for this, but, you know, this is a special circumstance. Just like the old days, eh, Marky? Just like the old days. Kill your neighbors! Zero out of four. Right, okay. So, I, I don't give any of them mercy. Not even Mary, who I think actually let me loose. Hmm, guess not. You bastards. I'll kill you one by one. Right. 
I think I'm going to start with Martha, because she's fast. She's cheetah-esque when she wants to be. Better get her before she sees me coming. There we go. You can't kill me, boy. You will pay in blood. Not if you pay in blood first. Right, one of four. Three to go. Alright. Maybe let's dart across to... Is it John? I think it was John over here. Alright. There we go. I don't want him to run away. I don't want him to get any help. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting this game to, uh, to, to put me into the role of a ruthless killer. But I'm enjoying it, yeah. Right, I, I, I want to save Mary till last. I think we're going to go over to Scott. I know he, he, he revealed, you know, most about all this, but... Yeah, he needs to die as well, I think. Uh, he's fast asleep. Or right, well, maybe that was a little bit of a mercy. Okay, one more to go. And it's Mary. Yeah. It seemed like she was looking at me and sort of handing me the key in the darkness, but maybe it wasn't. You know, maybe I just got lucky and, and took it out of her hand. No, 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 no. No, you don't. What the? Oh, I, I couldn't hit you for love nor money. There you go. Four out of four. Right. We're... Are the aliens here? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. What the hell's this? It's so dark. Oh, it's about bloody time that I get a light source. Oh, Lara? Oh, come on, Daddy. We're going to be late for the ceremony, she says. Okay. Right, so we've gone back in time. We're, we're going to see how this all ended up for her, I guess. Wow. Daddy, why do I need to be purified? Because you're a little witch, honey. That's why. Very sort of Statue of Liberty-esque, aren't they? There's something bad inside you, my daughter. Right. Something bad? Am I sick, Daddy? No, I don't think you are. We just think this is going to fix things. It's going to be okay, daughter. You're going to be okay. She's not going to be okay. We know she's not going to be okay. It must have been Lara that I saw. That shadowy figure. That, that little child that I saw. It must have been you. Right. How far do we have to... Oh. <laughs> How far do we have to walk, I was going to ask. Is this it? No? Hi. Are we... Oh. No, we're not done. We're not done. Okay, we're going this way. Oh. Oh, Jason's here. Hi. See ya. Yeah. Oh, Lara, wait for me. Wait for Daddy. Oh, there's another one. And another one. And I think maybe another one beyond. Right. Okay, yeah. Goodness gracious me. Oh. Oh. Did She must have grown up pretty damn quick before she was put up there. Whoop. And we're back to the trailer park. But there she is again, right? There she is. I can talk to her. Hello, Marky. Are you ready to serve me? What have you become? You were just an innocent girl. It was people's ignorance that turned me into this monster. I never did anything bad to anyone. I'm sorry for what they did to you. People really are horrible. I was just an innocent girl. They lied to me. They burned me alive at the stake. My pain and my suffering. 
Kill for me, Marky. Burn them alive at this stake and offer me their blood. And I promise you that you will prosper. You will never lack for anything. Help me cleanse the evil from the world. Help me burn the truly unclean. Make your choice. Kill for me, or die for me. So it's I hate people, I'll kill for you, or I'm sorry about what happened to you, but I can't be a part of this. Um... I've started, so I'll finish. Wow, okay, one year later. One year of killings later, presumably. Alright. Uh-huh, still here. And I've still got this fucking wanted poster up for some reason. We have a new neighbour. Moved into Scott's house. He doesn't go out that much, right. My mask, my axe, do I need them? I guess not. That candle's been lit for a long, long time. Here we are. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Lara? Is that you? It's okay, Lara. I already understand. Right. Scott's house. That one over there? So I definitely don't need the mask or any- Oh, here we go. Right. I'm sorry, man. I need your blood. Right. Okay. What have we got over here? For rent, right. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have moved in and, I guess, out within the last year, I wonder? And that's still there, that's still there, right. Uh-huh, okay. It's probably stale by now. I assume that's not the, the new guys that just moved in. Knock, knock! And there you go, that was Community. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, all right? Did you enjoy this one? I did, you know? I, I, I don't think it's brilliant, I don't think it's great, but I did actually enjoy my time with this game. I think it had some good moments. I was quite shaken at times, uh, some good jump scares, eerie atmosphere, I like the premise, it's quite unique. Uh, and yeah, it ended in a fairly interesting and, and, and bloodthirsty way that I wasn't expecting. Not too bad, 616. Not too bad at all. But yeah, I am going to go back and I am going to see if I can get the other ending. I want to see what happens if I tell her no, I'm not going to kill for her. Alright, here we go again. Make your choice. Kill for me or die for me. I'm sorry about what happened to you, but I can't be a part of this. Oh. I think she disagrees. Oh god. Are you okay? I, uh... I... Okay. <laughs> did I did I lift the curse? I Maybe someone just needed to tell her no. Right. Okay. Uh there's a bowl down there. Should I be worried? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh ah, okay. I guess if I'm not willing to kill for her, other people are, right? And now I find myself burned at the stake. Right. And there you go, the second ending to Community. Which one did you prefer? Thanks for watching, see you next time. I'm going to say hello to my new neighbors. With my axe. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> that was quick. Oh. The fuck? Is there a little? Whoa! Is that it? Whoa! Whoa. What the? What the? What the fuck? I think he left me this as a gift. Oh shit! This game is actually getting under my skin. There's something very strange going on here. <laughs> yeah, there is. Are you doing some kind of ritual? Are you doing some kind of ritual? She asks. <laughs> Oh god, there is a body there! Whoa! Is that gonna... 
Is that going to stop? <laughs> oh. There's got to be a phone somewhere. <laughs> I'll get my axe. They need to learn a lesson, right? Yes, it's about damn time. Right. We're Are the aliens here? It's going to be okay, daughter. You're going to be okay. She's not going to be okay. Uh-huh, still here. And I've still got this fucking wanted poster up for some reason. Knock, knock. Are you okay? I, uh... I... Okay. 